Welcome back to Spectrum News Live at Noon. For the first time, one of the nation's top type 1 diabetes cycling fundraisers makes a stop in the capital region. The Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation hosts the Ride to Cure Diabetes in Saratoga Springs on Sunday. It is just one of five venues chosen nationwide. And joining me now to talk about this event is Tom Hoffman. You may recognize him. Tom is CEO of Hoffman Development Corporation, which oversees 21 car wash locations. But Tom, you are also living with type 1 diabetes diabetes, right? Yes, for 33 years now. Well, thank you for talking with me about this. For people who do not know what type 1 diabetes is, talk about that and what it's like to right. live with it. So, you know, you're living with it 24-7. You always have to think about what you're eating. You have to think about, you know, your blood sugar level. You're carrying around a test kit for finger sticks. You've got continuous glucose monitors, possibly insulin pumps. So it's, it's always on my mind. Wow, really? Okay, so you're participating Saturday. You've been training. Yeah. You said you just recently picked up the bike. Talk about your training right. and what it's been like to so, get ready for this. Right, so the local chapter has a lot of fundraising events. I bought a bike at the gala last year. Uh -huh. um, we also participate in the golf tournament, so I've been thinking about how to raise money. And the bike tournament coming to Saratoga for the first time was an exciting, I thought, opportunity to you know train, get get in shape, lose some weight, and uh, help support juvenile diabetes. <laughs> but riding a bike for a long time, you and I yeah. know <laughs> harder than it looks. <laughs> it's much harder yeah. than it looks, right? Um, money raised from this event helps the type one diabetes research, and you've actually personally benefited from this. I understand that you're one of the first Capital Region residents to wear the first commercially available artificial yep. pancreas system. Talk about that. Right. So. So the new pump I carry can actually take the information from the sensor and modify the amount of insulin it delivers to me to keep my blood sugar in a more normal range. So it's been a huge improvement. And the Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation has really spearheaded and with their funding have really helped advance technology that, that I enjoy today. And like a little beep goes off and it knows that your blood sugar is low oh, sure. or, you know. Yep, so there's warnings for high blood sugar, low blood sugar you know, big benefit at night while you're sleeping because it's modulating the amount of insulin. It's really been a great improvement. That's fascinating. Um, I saw this morning that the event has reached its fundraising goal already, $2.2 yeah. $2 million. Yep, and locally we've raised almost $100,000. Yeah. It's really been a great uh, event. The, the, the local folks have really been supportive, so we're really looking forward to it. We have great weather coming too. Okay, so let's talk. Uh, how can people get involved if they want to be involved um, with the organization as a whole to raise money, mm -hmm. anything? Well, again, there's you know there's the walk, there's the gala, there's a golf tournament. We do a lot of things locally to raise raise money. You know, JDRF.org is where you start. You know, there's a fundraising link. You can click on there, and you can even right now support people that are riding this Friday and Saturday. Well, we're riding Saturday, but um, it's not too late to help. That's right. Now, yeah. what, is it, what does it feel like to be able to um, talk about this? I'm, I'm sure it, it's more of a passion for you. It's not just, you know, a project. Right, right. It, and it is a passion. And, uh, you know, I'm a technology guy with our car washes. You know, we're always yeah. using the latest technology. So I've adapted well to this, and it's really helped me. But, you know, children with diabetes, you know, the pumps are helping, the continuous glucose monitor. Even locally, the support for parents with children. Uh, they have fantastic, um, you know, outreach for that, and um, it's, you know, really helping kids. And you know, I, I was lucky enough to get it when I was 20, and I wasn't a, a kid. But, mm. you know, 33 years, 24/7 is a long time, and we're, you know, we're fighting for a cure, trying to raise money. Well, I thank you for coming uh, to talk about this. You're definitely inspiring, and uh, good luck oh, this you. weekend. I know it's going to be a tough one, but but you say you're going to make the 100, I, right? I am going to shoot for the 100 for sure. I know you yep. can. All right, thank you so much for coming thank in. You. Well, we do want to let you know, too, that the JDRF Ride to Cure Diabetes starts at 7 Saturday morning at the Saratoga Springs City Center. Go out and cheer them on.